everybody. This is Jeannie, and uh, this is the card I'm going to show you how to make today. It's called God Bless This Nest. Um, I made this card for the Bitten by the Bug design team. For this week, the cut we were, were to use was Bless This Nest uh, from the Sweetheart cartridge. So be sure and stop by the Bitten by the Bug 2 uh, website and see what all the other lady, talented ladies over there have made this week with this cut. This is what the inside of the card looks like, and let's get started. These are the tools I used. I used my tape gun. I used 3D uh, Zotz dots. I used uh, close to cocoa, a water-based dye ink. All you need is a, a medium brown water-based dye ink, and I used this wedgie makeup sponge to apply it. I used uh, a brown sharpie marker. I love the quill and glue and I used it. It's got this little fine point that makes where you can put just a little bit of glue on little bitty pieces. I used my Martha Stewart uh, branch punch and I used this Tim Holtz paper uh, ideology and I used black cardstock and I had some brown mulberry paper it's called left over that I made the branches with. That brown mulberry paper, I just typed it into Google search to find it and it is, uh, it's a little expensive but it makes great trees. Okay, this is what, uh, I went ahead and put my card base together uh, and I inked around all those pieces and the card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, the frame piece is four by five and a fourth and it's on the inside too. The background piece is three and a half by four and three fourths, and the sentiment piece right here is uh, two and three fourths by four. These are the cuts I used. This is the Martha Stewart uh, branch punch. The bird is from home decor, and it's got the uh, shadow blackout and then this, the regular cut. The um, bird house is from Stretch Your Imagination. And that's the shadow blackout cut, the regular cut, and this right here is the layer feature. The hearts are from George. The branches are from Pooh and Friends. Bless Your Nest is from Sweethearts. I welded the shadow of God to this, and the letter, those letters for that are from um, Basecamp. And then there's the rest of God that I'm going to put together on that. And right now I'm going to show you my mat shop for this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're, I'm going to ink around all the pieces and add some dots to the, uh, the Bless This Nest and to the hearts, like shown here. And I, I'm going to show you how to ink around the pieces on this one piece right here. After I ink around the pieces, I'm going to assemble all the pieces and then put everything on my background piece that goes flat on the background without any pop dots or anything. You just ink around, you don't overthink it. To get, in, to get this circle, you come from behind like that. And then there's some cuts on this. I'm going to fold down, fold this down and ink right there. And right here. And that'll give you a more three-dimensional look when I get it all put together because it'll create a shadow that you would get. And then I'm going to ink around the pieces to uh, everything and get some of it assembled. Uh oh. There we go. I'm sorry about that. Okay, right here I've uh, went ahead and put the God on God Bless and put it to, on the page and put this nest on the page and uh, I added the ink around all this and then I added these little dots kind of to define the letter and make them pop off the page and on the hearts I've added if you can see this the ink and the dots on the heart and that's gonna be the leaves on our tree the next thing I'm gonna do is add this shadow cut and I pop dotted it it's gonna go right here and then I added these Martha Stewart branches to the back of this 
and the pop dots and the little branches show right through there where the birds build its nest on the inside of the birdhouse. And that'll go right on top of there. And then see how the black makes the shadow back there where it'll be dark inside the birdhouse. Then to this branch I've added one little pop dot and I'm going to add quill and glue to the end of this. And then I'm going to place this where it looks like this branch is growing outside of this branch. Then here's my little bird and he's been inked all around it and I've added, you know, I adhered those two pieces together and added a pop dot. Let me put him right here. And then we're going to add the leaves to places you'd find the leaves on the tree. The little hearts are going to be my leaves this time. There was a heart on the Bless This Nest cut. That's what way you made me think of using the hearts as uh, leaves. I thought it would be sweet. This would make a really good card for uh, somebody that just moved into a new home. And we all want love in our homes. So I thought the hearts were a good symbol or something like that. There's what the outside looks like, and there's what the inside looks like. I added two Martha Stewart branch punches, and then the little heart, and then the bird in there. I all adhere directly to the paper. You'll find complete instructions on my uh, website, www.aplaceformycards.blogspot.com. There's complete instructions, the size of all the cuts that I used, and uh, I really appreciate you stopping by, and I hope you come back and see some more of my videos. Have a wonderful day.